Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kevin Gowasso Ito and welcome, 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 welcome to day 31. The journey continues, right? We're te we are teaching ourselves test ng. We're teaching ourselves how to set up a, an automation framework from scratch, right? And the first component we're learning is test ng, right? Yesterday we installed, I showed you how to install, um, and I installed a, a, a test ng plugin onto my Eclipse, right? Today, we are going to do a, a, a test ng project project folder and we're going to do a test ng package folder and then we're going to do a test case folder and then we're going to run a test case okay so let's jump straight into eclipse right jump into eclipse and what we want to do is i'll just delete this one okay i'll just delete that one that was one that i i uh, kind of practice with earlier on right so you remember it's practice 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 right so when you're in your test uh, uh, your eclipse on your project um sorry package explorer you want to right click in there right and then you want to say java project setting up a test ng project and setting up a java project same right so just call this just call it first code okay just first point right and then click next and then you click finish, right? That's as simple as that. That's your uh, test ng project folder created, right? So you want to go into your test ng project folder and you go into your source file, right? Now we're going to create a, a test ng package, right? So you right click on your um, source folder, go to new, and then you go to package, right? And then now you want to give a name for this, right? So we, we could just say the same thing, right? Just go say first. Um, first prod one right here it says name already exists so i'm gonna call this something else first prod one we yeah only give it another name right so we just go say mm, prod one right and just click finish click on finish right so that's why it says that already existed, right? Because of that, right? So we're gonna delete that one. Also don't need that. Don't know why it's there. Anyway, we're working with, this is our our um, package, right? So within our package now, we want to create our test case, right? So we just go to right click on package, go into class. So that's our package name. We want to name our class. So just say first case, right? First case. Remember, with uh, when we when we're doing a Java and um, scripting with Java, uh, with Selenium and Java, we used to use public static void main, right? That's because in a to run and compile a, a test in Java, uh, you need the public static void main, right? But with test ng test ng you just need the test ng libraries right test ng's libraries in itself acts as a compiler right so you don't need to tick that so you just leave that and then you click finish right so that's also now we have a skeleton of a test case right now what we want to do we want to create a method right so our method will be public void right i want to give our method a name right which is usually which is usually going to be our test name right or test case name right? so we we'll just call that again first test and then you want to go open close uh, brackets right and then we want to do our parentheses right so return and then you open and close parentheses right and then in here this is where you write your code for your test case right this is where you write your code for your test case. But now uh, we were just gonna write some text that we could print out, right? So if we print out our text, our our test uh, our text in here, right, and it's successful, then it means any code that you write in there, whether it's to log into a test and uh, into a um, test case on steps to follow um, how to log into a website or navigate within your website, right? It means if this uh, uh, you ex we execute this and the, the 
text is printed out okay then it means any code in between here right would execute just fine as well right so let's just write something briefly in there now to to print out right so you go system dot hope you remember this one from when we so this is just printing out that code right did it so it's system dot out dot print print line where is the print line Here we go, right down there. Print line string we're looking for. There we go. Yeah, and in here you want to do your open and closed double brackets. I want to just say hello, right? So that is our test case. That's the structure of our test case, right? But we didn't test ng to run any test case. You need to use the artery test right now that defines a test case right so anything after attribute test and here that's a test case so test ng will always treat anything between here and here as a test case right so as we go along you'll find out how how this just structures out right as we go along uh, uh, more more through the through learning test ng right but for now just know that artery test everything underneath that is defined as a test case right so for us to run this now we just need to hover over here and then we want to select this add test ng libraries right and then hover over again and then say import test so that's you importing your uh, test ng annotations right and that's it it's as simple as that that's your te first test case in test ng right and then all you want to do now is right click right run as and you will notice now you've got test ng test right not a java application right so if you click that and say okay just wait now for that to run and i think it's finished oh sorry this was down there <laughs> the result bit was down here right there we go so now test ng actually has a wee report that it, it, it spits out right so what we called that's our test case there it's called first test first test the name always comes over there and it says pass and our actual test case which is just a, a text printed out hello that they executed okay so our test case passed right and then you have this weird default report here as well one test run and no failures and no skips right now is that not beautiful beautiful <laughs> so Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That's the end of the the, the thirty one. So we've created a, a test ng project. We've created a test ng um, package, and within the package, we've created a test case and we've actually scripted a test case. Even though in between inside here, we we'll write our proper test code, right? So what we've been doing before. Uh, scripting from uh, the functional flow right our functional flow scripting will go in there and as we go along you will see how we use the various test ng uh, 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 annotations to build up a test case and how to run it so just now we've just done one simple test case right so this is our first test case in test ng and it's a winner <laughs> thank you very much for watching and uh, stay blessed right remember the aim of this is to empower others to to upskill right to learn as you know there's nothing more than self-education right now you know that is the mind in in yourself in your job and that's a that's a new currency right that's a new currency a new value is in, in your in your mind and how um, up to date you keep yourself in in, in work in, in in social life and all that stuff but you know just encourage others to learn and share right so when you learn you share and you grow okay so thanks for listening again my name is kevin owasu i will see you tomorrow day 32 bye stay blessed bye